my god should i choose carla or ryan which one carla uh, carla or ryan carla or let's ryan. be sisters all right yo carla Hey, it's me, Mikey. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened. My audio just said fuck me, so I'm just gonna walk you through this briefly. Let's go. As you've seen, you get to choose your character, and you're on a plane crash. You stumble around till you find some meds, pop them, yada yada yada, you know the deal. Then we just loft on, trying to search for anything still intact. After rummaging around with a little more expose of the crash, we almost have another near-death experience. <sighs> We then stumble upon some useless NPCs who almost bust your head open like a grape. After talking and entertaining but fuck nothing, you hear someone wailing underneath this debris. Oh my god. Jesus, I can only imagine how that feels. The A-list actor and her friends then decided to dip on me and leave me to fend for myself. But not before I got the address. I mean, just a tip can fix a bit. <laughs> then for some reason, we are attacked by a horde of zombies. The horde of zombies just kept coming, and I got tired of this bullshit. So we came up with a plan. Hit big tire, close opening. Simple enough. After hitting the tire with ease, because you know, I'm a professional athlete, two top champion, motherfucking four star athlete. <clears throat> we then tried to figure out how to get these people out of here. I mean, I'm only one person. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, if you look a little sickly, it's a zombie apocalypse. I'm probably not gonna help you, but Carla wants to be a hero. So we get a little nibble. <laughs> After calling pineapples are safer, she didn't listen, so I smashed her head. She just was a little too freaky for me. I mean, God, she started nibbling on her own man. Oh, what a freak. And then, you know, in self-defense, we had to do what we had to do. Ugh. That's how our story started on Dead Island 2. I didn't forget that sneaky link either, so I'm headed right there. I'm coming, baby. Like I said, I'm trying to meet my sneaky link, so we end up trying to get to the fucking crib. But the gate was locked, but ain't nothing finna stop me from getting my nut. The fuck is you talking about? After a little investigation, I finally figured out how to get in. I used a little thing called a breaker and sex drive. <laughs> I finally found my way in, but there were inconveniences. But let me tell you something, nothing, I mean nothing, will get in the way of my snoo snoo. Finally made my way to the crib, and turns out she wanted to Netflix, but no chill. Fuck! Shit happens every time. So misleading. I finally made my way into the house, and let me tell you, my welcome was anything but warm. Understandable, though. I had a little nibble, but between no snoo snoo and a little anxiety they put on my heart, I passed out. After trying to plead my case, I finally convinced her that I am immune. I mean, I got bit like two days ago. If there wasn't one thing to another, bro, not have to save these NPCs. Because now, somehow, all the zombies got in and the gate is broken. After taking care of the heathens in the yard, I had to figure out how to close the gate so the endless onslaught of parasites would stop coming in. For some unknown reason, somebody decided to take the power source out of the gate. But don't worry, if there's a way, there's a way. After an intense search, I finally found the power source and they thought fire was gonna stop me. After not being the breaker and finally putting it in its place, the gate finally closed and all I had to do was get rid of these parasites. After exploring the crib a bit and a little more disappointing banter from the lady I thought I came here to get snoo snoo from, I decided to kick rocks. Oh, and this is around the time I joined my friend because, you know, two peens are better than one. Oh, yeah. So it began, two bros set off on an adventure. Yeah. We end up finding a hotel where we can lay our heads other festivities too if he liked. After offering my cleaning surfaces to the hotel because they really needed it. I mean it's filthy, very filthy. Every nook and cranny you see these cockroaches. We finally made it to the boss and let me tell you something. It was a bit underwhelming. I mean bro it was just above dude in a dress. Come on now. And he destroyed the cake. Like for what? I love cake. Mm. After an intense but not intense battle with a buff guy in a dress, or is it a lady? I, I, I don't know. 
you guys are now all caught up thank you guys for watching my video uh every video won't be like this uh, uh, i just did this because my audio went kaputs if you made it this far then you're a legend comment blue ball so i know you're a real one and until next time guys peace